In the last episode, I was landing in Martinique after an ocean crossing. This is Le Marin, we made it! Having seen only sea for a month, it was now time to explore the Caribbean and its numerous islands. Alright, quick promo time instead of the jingle that I haven't finished. As you know, I passed my cruising instructor recently and I'm working for the school of my friends Sailing Virgin, they all around the Caribbean. Hi, I'm James. I'm Jack. We're Sailing Virgins. Sailing Virgins! Yeah! So check their uh, website online and come sail with me. Look, Anais is enjoying it really much. Don't run into the boat, huh? <laughs> Good job. I'm leaving Le Marin in Martinique. I've been around for almost three weeks now. I had a problem with my propeller, then I worked a bit as a technician uh, for a charter company. Then I had my friends coming with a boat, uh, so the last few days we hanged out, all rafted together. It was really nice. Wait, wait, wait. All this wasn't that easy. <laughs> First, do you remember the propeller I lost in Canary Island and mounted back? Well, I lost it again, and it took me two days and three tanks of air to find it in the half meter of mud laying at the bottom of the marina. Okay, so in the harbor I find two fire extinguisher, two water bottles, an old speaker, whatever this is, a pen, an iPad, Ray-Ban, sunglasses, and finally, my fucking propeller. So yeah, I made it, now I need to put it back. Then I had to remove the propeller shaft while the boat being in the water to find a long-term solution so I stopped losing this damn prop. With all this, my mom, who joined my dad and I when we arrived in Martinique, could only come for one day sailing with a boat. Poor them. Anyway, after this, I worked a few days fixing boats in the marina to make some cash. Then a few friends arrived with their boats and we rafted together. That part was fun. Look who arrived in Martinique! El equipo Canario! Hey, we are here! <laughs> again! Together! Did Tell mean? us to go where you are. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever this means. <laughs> I just dropped the hook and the guys from... Today lots of boat, but mostly Libertas from Sailing Virgin are coming to pick me up. And they're going to blow my... Give me a hand. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There you go. <laughs> nice. Alright, so... No... <laughs> Solar panel was injured so far. <laughs> Hi, Celine Virgins! Who <laughs> so much social media? Now I'm leaving to saint barth so it's about 250 miles north. I'm going there to try to get on board a, a racing boat uh, for the for the Les Voiles de saint barth which is a big regatta. So it's gonna be my first solo sail since Canary Island, so I'm really happy about it. To be uh, out there with the, with the boat, it should be like three days-ish. I'll see if I'm tired, I'll stop in Guadalupe, but otherwise, straight there. Let's see how sail goes so far. So good. Okay, so this passage is starting well. I literally started like 30 minutes ago and it's pouring rain already. But it's only a small squall. It will be over soon. Almost 24 hours that I'm at sea. I covered 
my 100 miles so it's good it's a bit tiring because it's all the way upwind i'm lucky that the sea is not too choppy the boat always healing and really sensible to like wind changes but it's okay making a making a good way i should pass uh, guadalupe by the by the end of the day and then head straight onto san bart Especially, I also rounded what was it Antigua during the night, and right now, since a few hours, I'm protected by a really small um, island, which is uh, Barbuda, which is like in front of me. It's really uh, narrow; there is not like big elevation point, but it's just like cutting the waves, so it's just like gliding nicely into uh, you know 15 knots of wind. 120 degrees so that's perfect and I still have about 80 miles to go not even 55 miles to go to reach San Bart so that's perfect really nice uh, really nice day sailing ahead I think Alright, so I arrived uh, yesterday early evening in uh, San Bart here. Found a small anchorage next to the city that is not as buzzy as the, the main one over there. At night it was perfect, this morning it's a bit rolly, but uh, it's fine. I inflated the kayak and I'm going to head into, into town to the harbor to see if I can get any chance to find a, a spot in the Voile de San Bart, in the regatta, on one of the boats uh, as a crew. Alright, so this morning after one after of dock walking, I managed to find a boat and they're looking for a crew. So I'm now, I return to my boat to pick up two items that I'm never using, which is gloves and shoes. And now I'm going to train with them for the afternoon to see if, uh, if I make it in, uh, in the team. So let's see. All right, so I did the two days of training with the team and they happy to keep me for the regatta, so it's really cool. We're starting tomorrow and uh, while we were training right in front there, uh, the, the wind veered and saw the waves and now the boat is rocking like a monster. So I wasn't really happy about it. Uh, but now I'm back, it's fine, no problem with the boat, but I'm going to move to another spot, another anchorage, which is not as nice. That will be moving less, because even last night the boat was rocking a lot, it was uncomfortable. So yeah, moving the boat now. Really deep with wind and swell in front, <sighs> but I made it. It's not like if I've been like hoisting kites all day. It's fine, it's fun. Stay tuned for the next episode where I find a spot on liquid to race Le Voile de Saint-Barth. 
before heading to St. Martin, where I got some last-minute work on a big catamaran.